morning, my name is Christina and I'm with Quick Fix and I do help take the guesswork out of the book work. As you notice, I was speaking out of turn, but this is the kind of way I work with my clients. I'm very personal. And as you see, it's not your accountant's responsibility to know all the answers on your side of tracking. As she just clearly was bringing out, she can only assume or take the information you've given her and fill in that deduction and make the best advice relying on the information you provided. So you can wing it and you can throw everything in a box and not have it sorted or you can start and at least get in a process of monthly trying to organize that information as you go. You may not be in a financial situation where you, it is necessary for you to work with a bookkeeper. You may not be in a situation where you are ready yet to do a financial advisor. You may be working with a CPA, or you may be working with an enrolled agent, or you might be doing it yourself. These are all good things, but whatever the case is, you would like to have a system in order to track that. The purpose, as we've said we are doing here today, is to try to take that guesswork and the chaos out, because I have quite a few people that love to wait until April to introduce themselves to me and say that they need their taxes done and ready by April 15th. You also need to be very aware of what that means. Your CPA cannot turn a tax return over in a day. If you are going to expect to meet a deadline, you need to ask and be kind and courteous to allow your CPA to have that at least a two-week lead time. And that's a short, in their terms, that's a rush for a CPA because they are very busy. Can I just quick one? Yes. If you want to get, get your tax return turned over in a day, you need to go to Liberty Tax Service or H&R <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do. it yourself. That's what they do. So, that's what I'm trying, we're trying to warn you and alert you to. We're not trying to push our services. We are here and available. We'd love to work with you. But we want to try to help you for your welfare and that's your preparation. What I'm promoting today, yes, I am a bookkeeper, but I do a variety of other things. I am a consultant, administrative assistant, and I implement systems to help your staff or your home life, whatever it might be, run a little more smoothly so that you can get the information you need when you need it. As you can see, I inspire and encourage an interaction of a relationship with your advisors. I am there to hopefully think of the things that may be missed between the conversation of your CPA. I came across and met uh, Teresa through the Santa Rosa Chamber, and I'm very happy I came across her. She's what I would call a proactive CPA. She really is looking out for the welfare of the individual. I have met Bob through the community and different other networking events. I also know he that he's a very personal and reliable advisor. I created a filing system here that helps you and I've color coded that. So be it business or be it home, the green is to represent what we call assets. It's your balance sheet side of the account. And why green? Because money is what you have worth and value. So be that your savings account, your checking account, your investments what property that you've owned, we would be tracking that in the green section and you would do any of your month end statements that come in. If you're doing an investment, really what we need to do is only keep your quarterly recordings. And now we do a lot of that online, but I would still recommend maybe putting your quarterly each time. The current uh, prospectus or statement that you get on a quarterly usually would supersede and do up to your date. So you would no longer, that's what you're looking for. Only keep what is gathering the current year-to-date information. As they're stating, they're looking for year-to-date. The year-end, you will be getting that information. And again, that's either of them with their one is the year-to-date information that you would track. So that sitting in your office at that time, it is a realized asset that we need to plan and current that you can be responsible for taxes on. I was just going to say, it's really important with inventory. Your tax preparer needs to know what you had yes. in inventory at the end of the year. And beginning. Yeah, and the beginning. So if you do it year over year, it's really things like you're a number that's important. Because your tax return is going to show, it's going to report what you had at the end of the prior year. And so you know that's what you had at the beginning of the next. So it's important that you know what the ending value is. And I'm constantly educating my clients on that. Cost of goods when it comes to assets, that's the point of the sale. At that point, you can claim what it costs you to provide that inventory to your client. 
I recommend if you do not need to carry an inventory, don't carry an inventory. If you can do it as needed, so it's truly just a pass-through thing, that's just having it on, you just order it on the time as needed, that's fine. Sometimes you can't, you don't have a choice, you have to keep an inventory. But it's very important to track when those sales are done, to then change that um, inventory into a cost of goods, so then you have the earnings, the income, as well as the cost of goods. And one thing um, that you might want to think about, which is important, if, if that's a good thing to talk to your tax preparer yes. about before yes. you go, before you provide the information to your bookkeeper, because there are different rules depending on what type of inventory it is, what kind of, what kind of business you have, as to whether you have to recognize uh, this as an inventory cost to be sold, or whether you can just currently expense it. So, and I'm going to actually going to interject there. I would recommend that that's something you and your bookkeeper do with your CPA. Yeah. Because I find that most of the time my clients do not understand what their CPA is doing. Yeah. That's, that's true. I'm going to encourage that you have a relationship. We are your team. And I feel like we're yeah. doing a disservice to our clients if we try to alienate ourselves and say that I have all the things. If you have your team working with you, you're going to more readily and quickly achieve the goals and make sure your end goal is there at the time. So if you can start encouraging your advisor, it could be your business coach, your financial advisor, your CPA, as well as your bookkeeper to work together, I'm telling you what, you are going to be much more successful than if you try to just work individually. You're also going to save a lot of, you'll have more hair. Because I can tell you what, you're pulling your hairs out because the constant complaint is, but this person's telling me I need to do it this way, and this person's telling me I have to do it this way, and this person's, what they don't realize is all of them are correct, and they all need different information yeah. to help you obtain what they do. So you don't change your books to adapt to each of the individual. You integrate the systems to make sure you're gathering what everybody needs in those reports are accurate. I agree 100%. The other thing I would do is uh, it's orange. We then come into our expenses, and unfortunately, generally, that tends to be our larger portion. Um, but those are your vendors. Those are your expenses, your general overhead, which is what it costs for you to operate your office. It might be your home office, utilities, your um, you know office supplies, your any monthly type of expenses that it costs you to do your business. You're going to have a several quite a bit of things that you can do with that, and um, I love to help you organize that. But that kind of sums up a little bit. I have more to offer. And if you are interested in having a free consult, please do contact me. My number is 707-799-0387. And it is on our worksheet, my cards, and anything like that. So if you have any more questions for either of us, we would more than willingly love to work with you. I have a question, Christina. So actually, this is part of what you're providing, right? So this is a system that you're actually coaching on, but also selling. So that way they, it helps them get a jump start and getting organized. That's right? correct. I want to differentiate this. You do not have to hire me as a bookkeeper in order to get this system. This is something that I've just devised and started this year to help sell separately. Because like I said, some people don't need a bookkeeper on a regular basis. But they need something that they don't have to think about. The reason why I do this is that those receipts, you may not total it every time, but you literally can at least start a system and just dump them into those categories. And when it gets ready for a quarterly reporting or an annual reporting, you can sit down, pull that file, plug it into the Excel spreadsheet, plug it into you know your own handwritten ledger, whatever it is. But again, you're able to provide those year-end totals that any advisor might need at the end of the year. So yes, this is a separate system that I can sell to you. I do very simple systems. If it's for your home, if it's your business, if it's a larger business, to more complex systems, and that is something that um, I would come in and uh, consult with you to help you create what you need and customly do. And that's something that I have helped with when I want to not um, leave out. But we have another special guest with us, and her name is Judy Baker, and she works with Completely Creative. And can you come on over, yeah, please? Judy? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. she's yeah. actually yeah. helped. You know where yeah. I know where the she's are, her actually. But she's yeah. helped me with trying to create a system and we're streamlining this and offering this as something we can order on my website that she's exactly. also helping me create. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Part of part of why this came about, she had to untangle a mess in my office because I'm creative and I don't like doing this. <laughs> I've done it, but I don't like doing it. But I love things being organized. So collaborating, whether it's with your financial advisor, your CPA, or your bookkeeper, all of that makes sense. And like Christina, I have a marketing system so that you're not having to invent it every single time. So thank you. Very well. Thank you.
So without further ado, I will draw it to a close, but I do appreciate you guys coming and taking your time. And if you feel any friends or family might benefit from this, we would love to have you come join us again on December 16th, which is again another Friday, so in two weeks. And it again will be held in this office, and that will be from 10.30 to 11.30, and we do offer refreshments, light refreshments, but we're here to help you. So I hope to see you again. Thank you very much. Thank you.